guys. Um, it's Miss Philip. Um, so here's how music's gonna work. I'm, we're gonna go over the things that we kind of already learned um, before we left. Um, so I'm gonna bring up Quaver at some points. Um, I'm gonna bring up some of our musical songs that we were working on just to have fun with those. Um, we're gonna talk about some of the things with music. So instruments, we talked about instruments. So I'm gonna bring some of those up in some of those videos and we're gonna learn about some of those. Um, we're going to talk about the different types of music because that's important. Um, we're gonna kind of go on an adventure. These first couple weeks, we're gonna talk about the different styles of music or the different types uh, that we could listen to. Um, each one of these videos is gonna be kind of an adventure. I'm gonna have a different thing going on back here and sometimes it's gonna be important to the video. Sometimes it might not be. It might just be the back there because fun. Um, if you haven't seen my other video about how you're feeling right now, how we're feeling right now as teachers, um, I kind of go over the same thing. This is gonna be an adventure for all of us. It's gonna be an adventure for your teachers, your parents, you, um, your schools, everybody. Um, it's a new thing that's, it's weird. <laughs> um, but we're gonna have fun with it. And we are going to give you every opportunity we can. And we're gonna make this as fun as we can. And we're gonna make this great. Um, you're, it's, it's different. But we're gonna make the best out of it. Um, we're Tecumseh Strong, we're Savage Strong. You ready to jump into music? Let's do some music stuff. Um, so what's happening behind me, Ms. Phillips? What's going on? Um, this is a very popular street that has to do with the type of music we're going to talk about. Um, sorry, it's not on that side. It's on this side. This is not Beale. This is Bill Street like Bill, like your friend Bill. Bill Street is in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, it is very important to blues music. We talked a little bit about it before we left with some of our musical songs. Um, so that's what we're learning about today is some blues songs. You're gonna hear a little bit of blues playing in the background. Um, that's what it kind of sounds like. I'm going to have this playing while I talk to you guys today. It really, that's what this next couple weeks are going to be about is me talking to you about the different styles. Um, so let's jump in. Um, so blues music. Let's have our adventure right now. Blues music is one of, one of the newer types of music. Um, it This blues music's messing me up now. Um, it's kind of newer, but it was made back then. It started back, I'm gonna tell you exactly when it started. It started back in the 1860s, okay? So almost 200 years ago, not really, but 100, a little bit over 100 years ago. Um, it started in the South. So whenever I say South, I mean Georgia, Mississippi, um, Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas, those kind of places. Um, it started in the vegetable and cotton fields with certain kinds of people. Remember whenever uh, at the beginning of the year, whenever we talked this year, 2020, when we talked about um, Martin Luther King Jr. and what he was trying to stop. That's kind of what I'm talking about now. Before he was here, we had slaves. You probably knew that. In the South, they had slaves. And this is where this music came from, was the slaves. Um, 
The slaves would, while they were picking cotton or while they were picking vegetables, they would make songs up either about stories they had heard or about what they were doing at the time or um, about um, whatever was happening with them at the time. They would make songs about it while they were doing whatever. It's kind of like how you are right now. You're stuck inside, you're stuck, you're stuck. We all are, we're stuck at home. And that's what they would do. They were stuck in the fields and so they would make songs about it just for fun. Um, so it's like what you do right now while you're washing your hands, like you should. Um, while you're washing your hands, you're, you're singing a little song to yourself, aren't you? To make sure you're washing them um, the right amount of time. Um, or if you're washing the dishes or if you're sweeping the floors or whatever, if you're cleaning um, or working, you might be singing a little song in your head or you might be kind of talking yourself through it or whatever. That's what they would be doing. They'd be out working and they'd be making songs up as they went. Um, just to have a little bit of fun while they're doing it. Um, that's where it came from. Um, so again, they would make stories, they would make songs up about either what they were doing or stories they had heard, or uh, stuff like that. Um, it started off, blues music started off as Delta blues music. There's so many different types of blues music. It's crazy. Um, but it started off with um, Delta. And from there, it kind of just grew. It's crazy, it's like plant, it just kind of went crazy. Um, it turned into without blues music, we wouldn't have country music. We wouldn't have rock and roll like uh, Food Fight. We wouldn't have rock and roll. We wouldn't have jazz music. Uh, we're gonna talk about that next time, but we wouldn't have jazz music. We wouldn't have bluegrass music. We wouldn't have church music. Um, without all that, we wouldn't have a lot of our music that we sing today um, or that we listen to today. Jazz kind of was a big step in all of this stuff that we listen to and we hear today. Um, it even influenced or helped pop music be pop music. Um, so, like I said, there's so many different styles of blues music. Um, it's kind of crazy and it's kind of impossible to count how many styles there are. Um, so jazz music is all, or not jazz, blues music. Blues music is all about improvising. I know, I, I know you've heard me say this word before. Improvising. It means making something up. So remember, these people are out in the fields and they are picking vegetables and they wanna make a song about picking vegetables. So they're gonna make it up. They're gonna improvise this song. That's a big word for you. Um, so why, whenever you're making stuff up, you're improvising what you're doing. You're improvising that song, you're making it up. So that's what they would do. They would improvise these different songs and make them up as they were going along just to so I had a little bit of fun while they were doing something they didn't want to do. Um, usually at the end of the day, they would go home and they'd sing these songs uh, for each other just for fun while they were, you know, kind of eh about everything that was happening. Um, they could sing. So blues music, this is kind of where it's different from jazz and we'll talk about it next time a little bit more. But blues music has to do with singing more than instruments. So we have our saxophone, we have our, like what you're hearing, you have your harmonica, you have all these instruments. That's great. But blues music started with a guitar and somebody singing. And the most important thing with a blues was that person singing. 
they were there for the words. They were there for not only the words, because every, every song, remember, every song has a story. It tells a story. That's what a song is. But with blues music, it was important to show their emotions through the blues music. Um, so if they were sad, it was important to show this song is sad. If it was happier, then it was important to show this song is happier. That's what blues music was about, was to show the emotion and the story, but more of the emotion of what they were feeling when they sang that song. Um, a cool thing with it was the person that was playing the guitar um, would be able to do these crazy little things with the guitar. Um, they were able to kind of bend the string. Let me go grab my guitar real fast. So we all know that guitars are string instruments, right? We've learned that. Um, so the guitar has these strings, right? So here, whenever I do this, it, it's bending the string. They would do this and they would make a kind of whining sound with the string and it would make it sound sadder than what it was. Um, and that's what, that's what blues was about, was making it sad, was to make that emotion come out more. Um, so, like I said, it started in the 1860s. That's whenever a big thing was going on with the US. Other than slavery going on, that's whenever um, the Civil War was going on. Um, so it wasn't a good time and people needed to have fun during that. So here's what they did was blues music. Um, it was just a way to have fun when there was, it's kind of like right now, there's nothing really fun going on. You're stuck inside. Um, supposed to be six feet away from each other. It's not fun. But they made up songs. Um, they made up stories to go with these songs. Um, it, it really was one of the starting things with um, music with the in america um now it just kind of sounds kind of funky um i know you guys have seen this in my room and this is what blues music and jazz music was made out of i can show you if you could see it this thing and this thing this is a flat the little b thing that you've asked me about all all year that's a flat and that's a sharp I'm not going to explain what those are right now, but they're kind of crazy things in music that make music sound a little bit weirder. They used them all in jazz music. They used them all in blues music to make it sound different. Um, they just, blues music was meant to be fun. It was meant to make a time that wasn't fun in America be fun in America. Um, so, I mean, um, some important singers in blues music. I know you've heard me say one of these names before and we've listened to um, his songs in music before because I've talked about it and you made fun of them. Um, some of these important blues singers was Robert Johnson. He was one of the first kind of blues singers with uh, the Delta Blues. Um, T-Bone Walker, crazy name. Made it fun. Uh, Muddy Waters. I think that's who that is right now playing. Um, and here's the one that I told you about, B.B. King. B.B. King was in a very important blues singer. Um, BB stood for Bill Street Boy. He started it. He started it all. Um, after slavery kind of ended a little bit, that's whenever all these people with all these songs that they had kept to themselves during this hard time in America, they got to spread out and they got to go into to the north and they got to go into the west and they just 
it's, it grew again. It just kind of splintered out and it went everywhere. And then blues was just everywhere. And that's how it affected the other types of music. Um, like country and jazz and all of that. Um, it just became its own kind of thing. Uh, and that's how blues started. That's all about blues. Um, we have, I can't remember the song off the top of my head, but I know we have a blues song in the musical that we've been singing. Um, it's just, it has to do with the emotion more than the story. Every song tells a story, but blues worries about the emotion with the story more than anything. So our next adventure, like I've said, is going to be jazz music. It's a little bit like blues. It's a little bit different than blues. Um, but we're going to talk about jazz a little bit. Um, kind of, sorry, you remember Miss Phillips, she's scatterbrained. Um, everything behind me, all these stores behind me, they're more restaurants. Um, all these restaurants behind me, um, this is the important thing about Bill Street. Um, all these restaurants that are behind me, at nighttime, if you walk through Bill Street, every single one of these places, every single one of them, except maybe the movie theater, oh, it's on this side, except for the movie theater, um, is playing blues music, some type of blues. Um, and that's why Bill Street is so important with blues music is because it plays it all the time, um, which is fun. So, um, so like I said, our next adventure is going to be somewhere different. It's going to have to do with jazz. Uh, we're going to learn about a little bit about that. So I'm so happy you guys, I'm so happy that I get to be able to still connect with you guys. I miss you guys a lot. So see you next time.